Welcome into the BSN Nuggets weekly breakdown presented by Huberger Subaru. No need to ever make the drive or set foot in a dealership. Huberger Subaru can do the entire deal remotely and bring your new car anywhere in Colorado as a courtesy. Ali Monroy here with BSN Nuggets beat writer Harrison Wind. Six wins in a row for the Nuggets. That's the longest win streak of the Michael Malone era. Harrison, how are they doing it? They're doing it a lot of different ways, Ali. Most of the season has been on the offensive end of the floor. We've talked about that at length. For most of these wins over this six-game win streak, it's been on the defensive end of the floor. A couple of these recent home wins over Minnesota and Indiana. Denver got it done on defense. And their most recent win against Portland, holding the Trailblazers, Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, Yusef Nurkic, just 82 points in that win. It's been a huge breakthrough for the Nuggets, and you got to give Paul Millsap and Michael Malone a lot of credit for instilling more def of a defensive mindset on this bunch, and you know that's going to be really crucial looking ahead to Wednesday and, and then the playoffs if Denver makes it. One game left, a play-in game Wednesday in Minnesota. What's going to determine if Denver breaks their four-year playoff drought? Yeah, it all comes down to this, right? Uh, they'll have to do it on the road, a place where they've struggled this season. They've played better on the road as of late, but still only 15 wins away from Pepsi Center this year. That's the lowest win total on the road of any projected playoff team right now. So they'll have their backs up against the wall. A strong defensive game will help. Of course, Jimmy Butler will be back for Minnesota. He wasn't on the floor. He wasn't playing when these two teams matched up last week. So Denver will need another strong defensive effort. But honestly, it's tough seeing the Nuggets getting this done if they can't fire on all cylinders on offense. They've got to have a better offensive game than they did against Portland uh, to really get this win, in my opinion. Minnesota has Jimmy Butler, but the Nuggets have Gary Harris back after he missed three weeks due to a right knee sprain. Do you think Michael Malone will insert him back into the starting lineup on Wednesday? I don't think he will. I think he'll come off the bench again. Malone talked pregame before Denver uh, beat Portland that he wanted to keep that starting lineup intact. Will Barton's been in such a great rhythm with that starting unit. He's been huge for Denver, uh, not just in Gary Harris's absence over the past few weeks, but really over the entire season. So I'd expect him to stick in the starting lineup and uh, Gary to come off of the bench. He was under a 20-minute restriction uh, against Portland, so I'd assume a similar amount of minutes to the uh, 16 to 18 that he played that game. How much credit do you think Malone deserves for Denver's late season surge? Yeah, he's faced a lot of scrutiny from fans this year. I think he deserves a lot of credit for this six-game win streak and how Denver's been able to get themselves back into this race. Uh, the stagger he's went to with Paul Millsap and Nikola Jokic, pretty much ensuring that one of those guys is on the floor at all times has been huge. And also just getting this team to not put as much pressure on themselves as they were playing with earlier in this season. Uh, he told them to stop looking at the standings, just to take it one game at a time, one play at a time. And that's really what you've seen from this team over this six-game stretch. So definitely to think he deserves a lot of credit. Well, of course, one game left, so be sure to catch all of our coverage on bsndenver.com. For Harrison Wind, I'm Allie Monroy, BSN Denver. Huberger Subaru is the largest dealer in the U.S., which means big inventory and better pricing.